Hello, what is up everyone? Retro Dan Games here, and today we're going to talk about an awesome handheld, and is it worth it in 2019? And we're going to be talking about the Game Boy Advance SP. To be specific, it's the 001 model, which means it's front lit. You know, uh, kind of like this and that. The original Game Boy Advance format, the SP format. So, <clears throat> basically, we're going to be talking about is the Game Boy Advance SP worth it in 2019? And to answer that, yes, of course it is. Um, it's the perfect Game Boy Advance to play all Game Boy games like Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance. Uh, I'm not sure of this, uh, I'm not sure of the Game Boy Advance's uh, region locking you know it could play uh different games from a different country i believe it can do that but um correct me if i'm wrong in the comment section below if uh this has region locking i'm not sure but you might have to do research on that one i really don't know because you know i don't want to start no riot but <clears throat> anyways yes the game boy advance sp is worth it at 2019 um it's like the ultimate um uh, people usually call it the ultimate game boy um, well, maybe I heard someone say that on a YouTube video once, and yeah, he's right. Of course it is. It is the ultimate, because it could just play original Game Boy games, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance, all in one. You don't need no original Game Boy, you don't need no Game Boy Color, this is it. If you want to play Game Boy, Game Boy Color games, this is it right here. This is all it right here. Um, <clears throat> so this model right here, the 001 model, this came out in 2003. This was basically supposed to fix the problem, th the problem that the Game Boy or Game Boy Advance had, and that was the it having no lag. So, ugh, sorry, my talking. Uh, basically, it not having any light at all. So Nintendo fixed that problem with a front lit screen. Later in 2005, they installed. Uh, and the uh, known as the AGS 101 model, that one has a backlight, kind of like how smartphones have, kind of like this. Yeah, kind of like that. <clears throat> We're gonna discuss uh, is the 3DS worth it in 2019? That one might be. Uh, I don't know if I'll do that one. You know, since the Switch is out. So yes, the Game Boy Advance is worth it. Um, let's see what else to talk about it. Um, yeah, it's very nice. Uh, is it comfortable? Uh, a little. For my big hands, I don't think so too much. But if you get used to it, if you have big hands like me or whatever, um, you should you should feel right at home with this system. It's very nice. The A, you got A, A, B, and button buttons. You got a D-pad. Got a start, select, uh, the brightness button to adjust the brightness level. You got your L and R triggers. They feel all right. Um, here's the cartridge slot where you can put a game in. So let's talk about the games. This right here, I'm gonna give an example that I've game I've been playing a lot. Um, Mega Man Battle Network 3 White for the Game Boy Advance. This is a Game Boy Advance cartridge. Uh, <clears throat> uh, these type of games right here are very fun to play. Um, here are a few examples of games I have. Uh, Mario Kart Super Circuit. Um, it's a alright game. Super Mario World, um, it's a good game, but I get a little confused on it, but it's a great game, though. I recommend you get this game. Sonic Advance 3, I don't know how I feel about this game. It's, it's hard. Uh, I'm not sure if it's as hard as Sonic Advance 2, because I really didn't want to play Sonic Advance 2 after that, you know, leap of faith stage. Yeah, I'm not even going to talk about that, but this is a pretty good game, too. So it goes in like this, and it plays the game, you switch it on, you can adjust it like this or that. Um, so basically, thanks to the front lit screen, it kind of makes it look very washed and a little hard to see through the camera, but if I were to have the 101 model, um, it would look a lot better. But um, I mean, this, I believe the 001 model, which is this model right here, is a little bit cheaper than the 101 model, because the 101 model is kind of like, 
the big one to get. Like, everyone recommends that model more because it has, like, a backlit. And it's, like, the perfect way to play Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games. And I recommend that. But if you really want to get some cheaper, I guess I recommend this. You could probably find this for, like, $40, $50. I'm not sure. But whatever you can find for cheaper, whatever. If you can find this uh, system for cheap, I recommend you get it. It's perfect for playing on the go it has uh, plenty of great games um, what um, um, well let's talk about the other games you can play like I discussed earlier you can play Game Boy Color games you can play it like this and once you turn it on, you can adjust the size of the screen like this. I mean, I kind of recommend it playing this way because it kind of like stretches out the screen. But hey, I mean, it is it does get a little uncomfortable playing it this way since you're playing it on a uh, like bigger screen. But if you really want to play it this way right here, I recommend you just get a Game Boy Color or whatever. But then again, how would you see in the dark, eh? Or you could just bot it or use a worm light. But I would just use a worm light. That's cheaper. And you could tell it's so washed, you can barely see it. But it looks alright. I mean Oh, that's that's not good. So yes, looks very nice. Now for an original Game Boy game, I was gonna use Mega Man Dr. Wally's Revenge, for example, but no, I'm gonna use DuckTales. Very good cartoon, too. I have it on DVD. The original. Not the 2017 version. I do enjoy the 2017 version quite a bit more. But I like the 1987 version. I'm not sure which version I enjoy more. But we're getting a little off topic here. Anyways. When you turn it on. You can still do the usual. Change the colors of an original Game Boy. Or... You could just leave it as a default color that it's assigned with. And um, it plays very well. Um, I feel like it plays it a lot faster. Like, for instance, I'm going to give a comparison. I'll be right back. I, Because I, it's probably not me, but I'm not sure. But I'm going to give off a comparison right quick. I'll be right back. So to give off an example, Pokemon Blue. I don't know if it's just me, but... Whoa. There we go. To me... I feel like it plays a... Hold on. I feel like the Game Boy Color plays it a little bit faster, but... I'm not sure. I mean... Certain Game Boy games play a little bit faster on the Advance, I think. I'm not too sure. But, um, you probably see what I mean there, but... Let's take a look at the Game Boy Advance. It being playing on the Game Boy Advance. It's louder, of course. If you do it this way... Plays a little bit slower, I think. But it's probably me. I don't know. But maybe. Hold on. Please run. If you turn this way, it makes it look like it's going faster. But I don't know. Maybe I'm just. Maybe I'm just tripping or crazy. You know, I'm I'm crazy. I, but not that crazy. So, anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um. It was something interesting to look at, but if is the Game Boy Advance SP um, worth it in 2019? Yes, it is worth it. I still enjoy playing it, and uh, in if you're into retro games, I recommend you get this. If you're really into like more retro retro games, I recommend you get a Game Boy Color. If you really really retro, or you really don't care about the other two I just got through mentioning, I recommend you get an original Game Boy, or you can get a Switch if you want to. But anyways, um, you could probably get this on eBay um, or a flea market, a garage sale, whatever. 
If you can find it for cheap, get it. Make sure it works. Make sure it's all good, good condition. Make sure it's not broken or anything. If it is, I'm sorry to hear that. It's not my fault. But um, <clears throat> uh, you should find this. I recommend you probably get the 001 model since it's a tad bit cheaper. But if you really want the 101 model with the backlit screen, that's up to you. If you can afford it, if you're willing to spend that much money on that model, go ahead, I guess. Whatever, how much it costs. If you can find it for cheap for luck, awesome. I recommend you really get that one if you really want it for cheap. If it's if it's for cheap, if the 101 model is very cheap, please be sure to get it. Like if it's like 30 bucks or something, that'd be great. If it was that, but <laughs> that probably never happened. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Make sure you guys subscribe. And um, yeah, let me know what else I should uh, say what's worth something in 2019. I might do the 3DS um, one if this video gets to like uh, maybe 11 likes, but that'll probably never ever happen because you know my channel's kind of dead at this point. But, anyways. Make sure you guys hit that like button, make sure you guys subscribe, and I'll be seeing you guys next time on the next video. See ya! Yeah, I also forgot to mention, it has no headphone jack. <sighs> Nintendo, what were you thinking? I mean, like, you could plug up headphones to it, but not, not the headphones you think. You see, there's an accessory for headphones, like, it's like a particular accessory of headphones you really gotta plug up to this right here yeah it should be on the internet somewhere but I don't know what they were thinking I mean like every other Game Boy even the Game Boy Micro had a headphone jack and no one did barely even cared about that thing barely I mean you can't even play Game Boy and Game Boy Color games on there so yeah oh my gosh what were you thinking